Season 6 of Vikings starts with Ivar on the Silk Road with the last of his loyal followers. They eventually end up in Kievan Rus where they are captured by the soldiers of Prince Oleg and brought to his court. Prince Oleg and Ivar see in each other a kindred spirit and both see ways that they can use the other to further their own ambition and an uneasy and untrusting relationship is formed. Bjorn who is now King of Karaget, El casts Whitehair and the last of Ivar's followers in the settlement and banishes them to never return to Karaget again. Afterwards Bjorn asks Lagatha, Ube, Torvi and Gunhold to act as his counsel and assist him in running his kingdom an offer which everyone refuses with the exception of Gunhild. Lagatha wants to retire and live away from Karaget, while Ube and Torvi have their own ambitions in exploring the new lands that Floki has discovered. A messenger arrives at Karaget from King Harald asking Bjorn for his aid as he is now held captive by King Olaf and requires Bjorn to rescue him from captivity. A debt which Harald is owed as he has previously saved Bjorn's life, not on one but two occasions. After much deliberation, Bjorn agrees to go to the aid of King Harald and rescue him from King Olaf. Ketil also arrives at Karaget now as well, and Ubi agrees to return back to Iceland with him and find Floki. In Kievan Rus, Oleg and Ivor travel to Novigrod to meet Oleg's brother Askold and retrieve Oleg's nephew Igor who is the heir to the kingdom. Oleg secretly poisons Iskold while he is there and takes Igor with him. Oleg's other brother Deer soon arrives to arrest Oleg for killing his brother and kidnapping the heir to the throne. But he eventually agrees to let Oleg go after Oleg displays his prophetic powers by revealing he knows Deer secretly got married and produces Deer's secret wife Anna as proof of his power. After Oleg returns to Kiev, he immediately arrests Deer and imprisons him having him mutilated and bound like a dog. Back in Karaget, Bjorn sets off to rescue Harald and leaves Ube in command of the settlement and his children in the care of Lagatha at her farm. Vitserk spends most of these early episodes getting high, having visions and just tripping out and being of no use to anyone in a general waste of screen time. White Hair and his cronies attack Lagatha's neighbors and force Lagatha to come out of retirement and help train the villagers to be prepared to fight against White Hair and his rebels. Bjorn attempts to rescue Harald from King Olaf by swimming across the harbour with his army. Olaf suspected this plan and has filled the harbour with oil which he sets ablaze, causing many casualties for Bjorn and forcing him to retreat. In Kiev, Ivar is again plodding away and tries to pull Igor further away from Oleg's clutches and with help of Igor he frees Deer in return for his support against Oleg when he rebels in the future. Ivar is also introduced to Oleg's new wife Princess Katya who is the doppelganger of his first wife Frysis and he is in disbelief at the similarities between the two and is convinced Oleg is up to something devious. Whitehair again attacks Lagatha's village and many people are killed, including Bjorn's son Hali, but they're able to fight off Whitehair's forces and live to fight another day. Gunnhild has a vision of this attack on Lagatha's village and sets off to aid her with her shield maidens. Olaf calls for a meeting with Bjorn and Harald, which they both agree to attend. At the meeting, Olaf proposes the idea of there being only one king of all of the land, elected by all the earls and kings, and he wants Bjorn to be that one great king. An election is held with all the kings and earls present and shockingly Harald is elected as the new king. Betraying Bjorn by having convinced most of the other kings and earls present to vote for him with promises of riches and lands in return. Bjorn is then forced to escape as Harald sends men to kill Bjorn as he knows. Bjorn will not accept him as king and fears he might rebel against him. Later on Whitehair attacks Lagatha's village again in which Lagatha and Whitehair fight an epic one on one duel with Lagatha being the victor in the end but not without getting gravely wounded in the process. She decides after receiving this entry that now would be a good time to return to Karaget which makes absolutely no sense but that's common of Vikings by this point. When she finally arrives at Karaget she is hardly able to walk and there's no one there to assist her as there's a feast going on at the same time. While slowly walking to the Great Hall she is eventually attacked by a heavily hallucinating Vitserk who is having visions of Lagatha actually being Ivar in a snake's body and he stabs her multiple times thinking it is Ivar. When he eventually stops hallucinating he realizes that he has killed Lagatha and runs away. Lagatha has a grand funeral and Vitserk is eventually found and his part in Lagatha's death is evident to all. Bjorn arrives towards the end of his mother's funeral and vows to avenge her death. Bjorn puts Vitserk on trial for the death of his mother and Vitserk accepts responsibility for her death and is sentenced to be burned alive. But eventually Bjorn has a change of heart and Vitserk is banished from Karaget instead and eventually joins Ivar in Kiev. Bjorn is later on caught cheating by Gunhild and she recommends that he should take Ingrid as his second wife to which Bjorn eventually agrees. Ube and Torvi head off to Iceland with Ketil and are introduced to the famous wanderer named Othair, but it eventually comes to light that he is lying about his identity and states 
He is a Christian named Athelstan, a name familiar to all fans of Vikings. Oleg has been sending raiding parties into Scandinavia before he starts his invasion and the survivors of these raids eventually reach Harald and Bjorn, forcing them to set aside their differences and join forces so they can be best prepared for a war with the Rus. However, it is only Thorkell that comes to assist Bjorn and Harald with all the other kings and earls ignoring their pleas and demands for help leaving Bjorn's forces heavily outnumbered against the Rus. The Rus army, under the command of Ivar and Oleg, eventually reach Vestfold and are able to breach the fortifications that Bjorn has created to stop them. Bjorn and Harald's forces try their best to stop the Rus army, but they are eventually overwhelmed and defeated. And by the end of the episode, most of the central characters for the Vikings army such as Bjorn, Harald and Gunhold all seem to have been killed in the battle but this is not fully confirmed. The final scenes show a victorious Rus army all feasting their win in Harald's great hall and castle. These are all the events that occurred in season 6 episodes 1 to 10 and this was just a quick summary of all those episodes. Hopefully you will enjoy season 6b when it gets released later on this year. Thanks for watching. Bye.